Hey, it's Jeff Gibbons here from Gibbons Creative, and I'm just gonna do a quick little review on the new MacBook Pro. I got myself the fully maxed out 15 inch version with the touch bar, and I wanted to compare it to my old Mac Pro, and that one is three years old, but it's still the state of the art as far as what you can get. It's not the highest end version, um, but I wanted to do real world examples, just in case there's people who are wondering if they should buy a Mac Pro or the new MacBook Pro. The keyboard takes some getting used to, but I am liking it. Uh, the click of the buttons feels great. The new trackpad's a little frustrating uh, in the sense that your hands kind of have to hover. I used to have a bit of dead area on the old MacBook Pro where I could rest my fingers, rest my thumbs. Now you gotta kind of hover over the trackpad as you're typing. You can definitely expect to hit the escape key by accident numerous times with your left hand, uh, but I'm already getting used to that as well. The touch bar is interesting. I love the feel of it. I can imagine that this thing is gonna be very useful in the future. I'm a key commands guy, and I love the feel of pressing a button to do a function of some sort. And I can't see myself using the touch bar as a replacement for key commands. The places where I see the touch bar being valuable are for things like precise moves with your mouse Something that I can do quickly with my finger is going to be very satisfying and be very useful. It's also great when you're in a program like QuickTime and you're recording a screen capture. You can see the controls down on the touch bar and they're not on the screen anymore. As others have said, the speakers are amazing. The lack of ports is definitely frustrating. But I do like the USB-C ports in the sense that I think it's the best technology and hopefully it'll be the replacement of every cable as things move forward. As far as performance goes, it's a bit of a mixed bag. When I opened up Lightroom and started editing, I noticed right away that the machine got very hot, the fans revved up, and the battery life just went down extremely quickly. In about 55 minutes or so, I managed to chew through well over 50% of the battery. Editing on Final Cut Pro on this laptop is amazing. It's on par with the Mac Pro, and in some things I did notice it actually felt a little bit snappier. I had multiple lanes of 4K footage stacked up. I had sometimes had four playing on the screen at one time, and it could still handle that without problems. As far as exporting goes, I uh, ran a few tests. On the Mac Pro, the export from Final Cut was three minutes and 35 seconds, or around that. And the same export on the MacBook Pro was three minutes and 23 seconds. So we're looking at a faster export time on the laptop, which is kind of mind blowing to me. Next, I went into Lightroom and did some exporting. On the Mac Pro, it was two minutes and 48 seconds. On the MacBook Pro, export was at five minutes and 51 seconds to export the same photos. So over twice as long to export on the MacBook Pro. The only test I did in Photoshop was to try saving a file. The save on Photoshop on the MacBook Pro was 49 seconds, and on the Mac Pro it was 56 seconds. So it was a slightly faster saving a Photoshop file on the laptop. If this MacBook Pro is faster than the Mac Pro at some tasks, I think that's quite incredible and quite a feat. Next I opened up Nuendo, which is basically Cubase and it's the program that I use for composing and for doing my sound design work. And I opened up a session with a bunch of virtual instruments in it. Um, same session that is the music that you're hearing in the background here. And I just press play and listen to a little chorus section where it starts to get a lot more intense with the processor heavy virtual instruments. And the Mac Pro was hovering right around 48% uh, as far as the average CPU usage. When I put on the new MacBook Pro, the CPU was hovering around 45%, so it wasn't going as high as it was on the Mac Pro. So again, this machine would work great for music composition. Uh, you're looking at on par or slightly better in some cases than the Mac Pro. I find the machine overall to be really powerful. Um, it's beautiful, it's nice to work on, the display is incredible. I'll try and get some use out of the touch bar. And that's it for my review. Make sure you stay tuned to gibbonscreative.ca for fun photography, video, and music projects. Thanks for watching.